Hello, friend Mormo here, and I'm get what was that noise? Man, I just heard a really weird noise, but I'm about to go see Evil Dead Rise. I stopped at Swin and picked up a couple joints. And in my opinion, Swin is the best uh, dispensary in town. I really like it. So I'm going to light up this J real quick. And I really liked the Evil Dead remake back in 2013. I thought they did a good job. It was really gory. really bloody and everything and I've been taking a break from going to the movies there's actually three horror movies playing right now there's the Pope's Exorcist and that Renfield I think there's like two Christian movies playing right now But we got a pretty good theater here, Branson Meadows. They get most of the horror movies. I guess they didn't get that Bo is Afraid or whatever, that artsy fartsy movie I wanna see. But that's all right. But I'm real stoked to go see Evil Dead Rise. Oh man. I've always liked smoking joints. I consider it a special uh, holiday, a special occasion because of the Evil Dead movie that's coming out. And it came out today, but of course most of my friends online saw it yesterday. They all get to go to the sneak previews, and I, I don't know if Branson just doesn't do sneak previews or I'm just not cool enough to get invited to sneak previews. I don't know, but that always pisses me off when I'm so excited to see a movie and then, and then I see like 20 reviews the day before it releases. I guess I get jealous of people who go who get to go see the movie early. But I think I'm going to get a diet coke or rather a coke zero. I was going to go see this on Monday because I get my injection on Monday and it's in the same mall as the theater, but um, I decided I'd see too much spoilers by then. And I, ha I haven't even watched the trailer to Evil Dead Rise. I've been avoiding all trailers and all spoilers. but it should be a pretty good movie for sure. 
and I just had two packs of ramen noodles for dinner. When Evil Dead gets out, I might see if um, Mr. Glencho's is still open. Mr. Glencho's is advertising in AR. Mango ceviche that looks really good. And, um, they are uh, mango ceviche. And, uh, they're closed on Mondays. Which sucks because now I get my shot on Monday and they're closed. And Branson Meadows is supposed to have a, uh, Food, food truck court, but they're really taking their sweet ass time getting it started. Okay, friend. Stick around and I'll let you know what I thought of Evil Dead Rise. Okay, friends, so I just got out of Evil Dead Rise, and uh, I wasn't really a huge fan, to be honest. Um, this, this movie was like a real Hollywood version of Evil Dead in that. It's 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 about little kids. It take it's about like minors and little kids and stuff. And uh, for some reason, ho Hollywood loves to make the like ghost versus little kid or like evil spirit versus little kid movie. And you just see that over and over again from Hollywood. And <clears throat> like, I'd much prefer to see adults or like college age people than see like kids and minors puking up blood and getting stabbed and stuff it's I'm just not a big fan of movies that are about kids really and uh, this movie it like it had really good gore it was scary um, it was a well made movie I just don't really like the kid aspect to it um, and I just think that's so typical of what Hollywood puts out for horror movies. You just see like one after another kids getting scared and stuff by monsters and stuff. And I don't know. So there's a minor spoiler. The movie involves kids. But, uh, and, um. I don't want to give too much away. Like I say, it was very gruesome. Um, it was scary. It was well made. It had good special effects. And if I would have watched the trailers, like if I would have thought about the poster and what the poster was saying and what the poster looked like and everything I could have figured out what the movie was that it's another like like Hollywood just makes these R-rated kids movies that are about kids but they're being like hurt by ghosts and stuff I don't know yeah I wasn't a huge fan of this movie but keep watching I'm gonna I'll make another video when I get home and uh, talk about Swin Dispensary and everything. So keep watching. Okay, friends, so I'm back home. I made it back home safely, thank God. Every time I take a trip, I'm always very thankful to make it home in one piece. And... I got my J's from Swin Dispensary. They're, uh, he was saying they're THCA and they're uh, cannabis hemp genetics, two grams. So damn, it was two grams for 20 bucks. That's a lot, but 
it's really worth it. I love hotboxing my car before I go to the movies. Um, that's really fun. And then I'm sober enough by the time the movie's over to make it home and everything. And now that I'm home for the night, I'll go ahead and fire this up. And he mans thinks I have food. So he's down at my feet, but He-Man's a nerd. He doesn't like Delta 9. I said, is it Delta, do you have Delta 9? And Cause I was wondering if I could get Delta 8 cheaper. And then he said, um, it's THCA and that you burn it, it turns into Delta 9 or something like that. But Swin is such a great dispensary. All the people there are super cool. I've been going there for a long time. They have a tip jar, so I always drop a little tip in there for the people who work there. And um, they got a good variety of stuff. I really, I want, there's a movie I wanna make, but I don't, it would cost me a lot of money where I um, do it, do a gummy or an edible or something and then watch a movie on VHS and then review both the movie and the edible. I've been wanting to do that. And uh, these J's are pretty smooth. You heard me coughing a couple times, but overall I think they're definitely pretty smooth, a lot smoother than they used to be. I must have picked a good one. They had several different strains. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, Swin Dispensary is super awesome. <coughs> I love it. Go in there, everybody's friendly and super knowledgeable. Just get your stuff, exchange a few pleasantries, and then take off. It's definitely pretty convenient. I think I just told them, hey, I'm going to go see Evil Dead Rise tonight. And uh, it's cool. You figure each J is about three different smoking sessions, or if you smoke with three people, everybody could smoke for ten bucks. And I've always preferred J's. They're especially fun when, you, like I say, when you hotbox your car, but they're a fun way to smoke for sure. Yeah, but that Evil Dead Rise was a disappointment to me. And there's a kid right on the poster. I should have figured out what it was going to be. Hollywood just makes so many of these creepy kid movies of kids getting scared and hurt by ghosts and shit. I don't, I don't really like that trend. Like I said, I'd much rather see adults or like college age people getting attacked by ghosts and whatnot and stabbed and all this. 
So I, unfortunately, I just did not really enjoy Evil Dead Rise that much. I, pr I probably should have went and saw Renfield or um, The Pope's Exorcist. Maybe Monday I'll see that. I'll get my injection and then I'll go see The Pope's Exorcist. And I'm supposed to watch Cocaine Bear because my nurse wanted to talk to me about that movie. She went and saw it. Well, anyways, thanks so much. Everybody check out Swin Dispensary. They're awesome. Um, I would say pass on Evil Dead Rise. It's just like, I don't know. I didn't enjoy it. Maybe you'll like it better than me if you like, like these ki kid movies, you know. Anyways, have a great night.